it's over, bro. I don't know how we can link that to her, but... But even if that that's the case, we can't know if it happened on the day in question or not. He, he, it could have been the day before, or the day before that. It's a popular restaurant. He maybe goes all the time. It's mostly happened some other unrelated time. Well, um... Crap, he's right! Oh, oh, god dang it, they're gonna say, well, he ate the steak so much, you see, the plate branded it on was ri- oh. We lose. Sadly, Prosecutor Auchi, the chances of that are extremely slim, okay? But, uh, is, is that gonna be enough? Uh, why? Please explain. The outline of the burn is clearly discernible. Such a serious injury would have caused quite a commotion in the restaurant. Where is this going? Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hosanaga? Right, you would have noticed it too. I can't imagine having missed such a terrible disaster, certainly. But, but, uh... What was that? I would say, looking at the picture of the wound, that it wasn't suffered very long ago. All right, and although it's not particularly large, Burn, it's extremely well defined. As the defense just pointed out, yes, yes, he's seen, my, he's seen what we're throwing down. This was no mild burn, that's for sure. Then why, why is it there in the first place? Could you be more specific, Inspector? Please. Well, let's see. Uh, if the plate was at a round 90 degree centigrade, a burn like that would have taken three seconds. Th then the plate was super hot? What? Hot plate wasn't invented yet. In fact, nobody ever knows what that is. It's inconceivable that the victim wouldn't have let out a scream of pain then. Yeah, that's true too. God, this whole thing is falling apart. I've been investigating at the restaurant for several weeks already. But I've not heard anyone scream at all. Even at the piping hot bisque! Ha! We can't get that temperature down, unfortunately. As the head waiter of Le Carnival, I can testify to that without hesitation. But you, you're a detective, not a waiter! Ha! Well, I can do both. Yes. I'm a capable man, apparently. <laughs> no, no, no agrees. There you have it. Something isn't right here. So, the trial's not over. Ha ha. As the detective said, anyone who burned themselves on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds would scream in pain. Maybe he couldn't scream because of his dental work? Huh. Wait, then, yeah, if he couldn't scream because of his dental work, how is he arguing with me? There's no question of that. And yet Inspector Hosanaga never heard the professor scream. Not on that day, or any day before it. Dude, yeah, that covered, oh my god. Thank you, Kazama, I never would have thought of that. The strange thing is, on the day he was shot, I didn't hear him cry out either. Well, we definitely talked to him, so he could talk. Ugh. What are you suggesting? Well, if the professor had carelessly laid his wrists on the plate for anything like three seconds that day... That would be, uh, be beyond careless, I think, counsel. Then the rest of us in the restaurant, myself, the sergeant, the old antique dealer, all of us would have, without question, have heard him scream. I don't know why, but this, this sheer look of what from Naruto makes me laugh. <laughs> it's my favorite expression. What? Wouldn't you agree, Prosecutor Ouchie? What? Well, well, I suppose. So the question is, why didn't a single person hear Dr. Wilson scream? Maybe there's something in that water, like a sedative or that? No, why would you need that if you're gonna shoot him anyways? I almost don't believe it. Rinosuke, do you think? Sometimes. Mostly now. Can it really be true? I never dreamt we'd arrive at a conclusion like this, but I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe what? We've been led into a terrible trap. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't follow. Where is this going? For once in the franchise, he's ahead of me. I don't, there's only one explanation I can think of to make sense of this apparent impossibility. On the day in question, when he suffered the burn to his wrist, Dr. Wilson was... 
already dead? Is that a possibility? If you were asleep, you would have woke up. No way. Let me think this through. Okay. Theoretically, if he was poisoned, let me look, let me look at this uh, picture again. If he was actually poisoned, that would explain the glass too. The reason, the reason Brett did not want that glass in the. Oh man. That also explain why her her glass, or at least the one that wasn't poisoned, was still left on the crime scene. Hold on. But no, it's on the right side of the table. People pick things up with their... Wait, how do you cut a steak? I don't need steak a lot. I don't know. I know this doesn't seem important, but it is, I swear. Here, if, even if you're left-handed, though, you'd use the knife. And you'd use the fork to stabilize. Okay. I'm a chicken man. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a steak man. <laughs> like, okay. I, I, I'm pretty sure that he was slowly dying via poisoning. But then how would, why would she, what was her motive then? It could also be he was under a sedative and didn't notice that he was being burned. And if you're going to poison somebody, why would you shoot them as an extra precaution? Maybe to frame me and get, get you off the case? I just, I don't know. I, I got points to mess around though. I think he's already, he was already dead. No man could remain silent while his wrist was burning on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds. Well, I... That's clearly impossible. Apart from one particular situation. Counsel, are you suggesting? Yes. It's only possible. If the man was already dead. Huh. Already? Dead? Hmm. Someone didn't even flinch. Interesting. Curious, isn't it? Knowing what we know, now, it's the only possible explanation. Come on. When the beefsteak was brought to Dr. Wilson's table that day, the professor was already dead. That's an awful steak they're selling at that- No, oh, what is this madness? The, the steak may be unrelated. I, I don't know yet. Order. But please, don't order me one of those vile meals! Counsel, explain the absurd notion at once! The victim was killed by a gunshot! Uh, that's right. That's absolutely right! Or is it? Curious. <laughs> this is just another ridiculous ploy by the rookie student! But c clearly he had no grasp of the facts! No, I know. I know all the possibilities. So far. No, Prosecutor Auchi. It's you who has no grasp of the facts. I beg your pardon. As soon as it became apparent that the victim had suffered the burn while at the restaurant, this whole case was turned upside down. Or have you not grasped that yet? Uh, I don't make a lot of money, please. Your Excellency, the court must hear from this witness again. If it's true, as we now believe, that the victim was already dead before the gunshot was heard, then I'm innocent. It's highly likely that Miss Brett knows something about it. Dude, get her. Get her! Get her! Her just desserts to finish off her meal. Oh! Incredible. Lee cringe. But also, I certainly didn't anticipate this twist of events. Yeah, no kidding. This is a good one! I'm sorry to say, Miss Brett, that you will have to forget your luncheon engagement. Yes! Yes! We're slowly getting out of the pits of Tartarus! Woo! But on your excellency! <laughs> She's so hot! Regardless, the justice system in our court may be in its infancy, but rest assured, all reasonable doubt must be dispelled before I am prepared to pass judgment. Thank you, Your Excellency. <gasps> Woo! You're going to jail, Missy! Woo! Uh-oh. What's she doing? Oh, God. Uh, what the? Don't do that! What was that smile? It's not friendly at all. Jesus! Yes, of course. I mean, I'd be delighted to help. 
especially if it helps relations between my country and yours. <laughs> Her accent is horrible! Ah, stop it! My ears! Uh, Miss Brett, you, you, you speak our beloved Nipponese? What? I'm suddenly less aroused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> it goes both ways! Y'all need to relax! Well, of course I do. I'm stuck in, in your country after all. Duh! But th why would you not speak? Why were you speaking through an interpreter until now? My mother's tongue. The Queen's English? Is the most refined and elegant language in the world. Uh... As a gentlewoman, I try to avoid speaking in your vulgar tones as much as possible. You get what? You gotta be kidding me. Mm. She's still an 8 out of 10 for me. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems the man in this land possessed none of the chivalrous virtues of English gentlemen. Oh, boo-hoo, cries a river. So your hat can swim in it. So I can see that I shall have to lower myself to communicating with you all on your own level. Ah, uh, well, uh, you are the epitome of a true English gentlewoman, after all. We're truly honored by this, this lavish consideration you so graciously afford us. Hmm, I see. That is the most, you cannot be swayed that easily. Come on. In that case, Miss Brett, I will now ask you to testify in your own words. Uh, what, wait, wait, why can I not advance the text? What, uh, about the events leading up to the death of the victim, Dr. Wilson. Dots. So, we're finally going to hear her own words on the matter. No more of, uh, Hosanaga's potential fluffing of her words. Things are getting interesting, Ryunosuke. Dude, I'm I've already been, <laughs> I'm fully invested from the start. Why 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 does Hosanaga look so sad? You know, I hate the guy, I just thought he was evil. Then again, you know, that's kind of the lawyer. Oh god. <laughs> you look so depressed. Unfortunately, I have no idea when the poor man bent his wrists like that. When the waiter brought my steak, the professor and I raised a glass in a toast. As far as I've heard, the most mortem report showed no other possible cause of death besides the gunshot. <laughs> Is there some other way a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace? Please do show me so I can try it on all of you. But of course, this country's inferior investigative techniques probably wouldn't pick up on it anyway. Yeah, don't be so sure, missy. I don't know crap about Japan in the 1800, late 1800s. But shoot. We got Protective Hosanaga on the case, who's been deliberately trying to frame me. Never mind. That most captivating and beautiful testimony will go down to Supreme Court sister. What? what? She insulted our country! And all of you! Y'all bunch of simps, man. Easy does it. Don't go berserk. Won't look good. I hope that's the last time I'll have to sully my lips with the coarse tones of your unbecoming tongue. Oh, please forgive me. I do hope I haven't insulted anyone, in particular Japanese people. Oh, no, not at all. It was delightful merely to hear you speak, my lady. As it seems very clear from your testimony that his boris talk of the victim's burn is utterly irrelevant. I'll be speaking to your country's Ministry of Justice about what happened here today. The, the, the Minister of Justice? You don't like him, do you? I, I can sh I can grow more hair, I swear! May that irritating little bully of a student be given the harshest punishment possible. Amen? What? Huh? I'm not gonna- what? Thanks? W was that a prayer? What? What is she doing? Well, have you... You'll have to forgive the irritation, Miss Brett. And put up a cross-examination now. But why? Uh... I expect you notice that this little bully of a student, as you put it, doesn't miss much. Yeah, I think it is poison. 
Isn't she a medical student too or something? Dude. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, counsel, that this will be your final cross-examination in this trial. For real this time. Yeah, I doubt it. If you fail to demonstrate any problems with this testimony, I will be ruling on the case immediately. Oh boy, we're back where we started. Ghoul. I said ghoul. That was a, what, what the, what? Huh? He slaps his cheeks. Sometimes I do that when I need to record. It works. It looks a little silly. It's not that loud, though, usually. Um, <clears throat> yes, Your Excellency. All right, let's get right in the game. Only thing left to do is to do it. Then you may proceed with the cross-examination. <laughs> okay. Also, I realize my British accent is horrible. It's more Australian, really. I just try to sound like Peppa Pig. It's very grown up. But I hate this lady. You murderer. I'm like 100% certain. It wasn't the curio guy. Unfortunately, I have no idea what the poor man burnt his wrist like. I have no idea when the poor man burnt his wrist like that. Wouldn't you see his hand when he was making a toast, though? Yes. Um, yeah, you'd see his sleeve. But his hand was on the searing hot plate for at least three whole seconds. You could not have noticed. You can't not have noticed. <laughs> Big difference. Do you think so? Let me ask you something. S -s Sorry? Ever since I arrived in this courtroom, and even still now, the fly on those unsightly black trousers of yours have been wide open. What? Why are you looking at my junk? You can't have noticed, can you? Uh, no, what? No. Oh! Rinosuke, she's fibbing. She literally can't see your groin. <laughs> what fun? You hadn't realized. That dear lady's absolutely right. Your penis is exposed. Exposed. As your friend, you've embarrassed me as well. As well as yourself, Rianosuke! Shut up! Shut it Why didn't you tell me? No, oh, no, that means the other girls are too- ah! Dr. Wilson was a true English gentleman. <laughs> he chose honorable silence over a vulgar scream. Can your tiny brains imagine such a thing? Uh, oh, yes. I think my tiny brain can. <laughs> yes. Yes, you have a very tiny brain. Well, I can't. That's stupid. Pardon my vulgarity. Maybe she does have a point. I'm getting really heated. Anyway. <laughs> when the <laughs> All right, I got to press on everything now. That one was too goddamn funny. The professor and I raise our yes. glass in a toast. Okay, you didn't see his you didn't see the burn? As you testified before, you were drinking carbonated water, is that right? Dr. Wilson was permitted to drink water at the time, which explains why he ordered that drink. Dump, if it's if it's carbonated water, it's a lot harder to obscure any poison. Dang, maybe it's not that after all. Exactly as you say, sir. Although... Although... Whether or not the professor actually drank any of his water when I delivered the steak to the table. I'm afraid I don't remember that. Huh. Okay. And wait a minute. Yeah, wait, hold up. If he was never supposed to eat, then how does, how does, how does the hand get burned in the first, or his wrist get burned at all? Don you. What? Aha! I have enough English to understand that, at least. For the benefit of those in the court, it means bless you. What? Uh I feel like a part of this trial is lost in translation. <laughs> I think it means the exact opposite. Anyway. Go on. As far as I've heard, the post-mortem report shows no possible other than the gunshot. That's not true, though. You could... Yes! Just because they don't do thorough exam examinations in Japan. It's written here in the paperwork. Fatal hemorrhage from ballistic trauma. But that's not... It could be more other things! Yes. Luckily for all of us, a little burn of the wrist isn't going to kill anybody. Uh, depends how long it's been there. And I, Well, no, you just lose your hand, I guess. And then bleed out. But let's not think of that. As there were no other signs of trauma on the victim's body to indicate some other cause of death. It doesn't have to be his, inside his body, though. It can only have been the bullet from the gun that put the end of the innocent man's life. But it doesn't make sense. The burn must have happened straight away when the plate was brought to the table by the waiter. 
Then how the crud did I talk to him? Unless it was like a slow acting poison. This is, no, okay. Let's drop the poison angle until we have more evidence. That is true. If I'd cooled even slightly, it wouldn't have been able to make a burn like that. And if the victim burned his wrist on the hot plate as soon as it was brought from the kitchen, then there must have already been dead at that point. Attention! No. <sighs> There's... There's a lot of holes in this, man. I can't even defend Naruhodo. I think he's wrong. And yet, the fact is the victim was killed by a gunshot to the chest. Until you're able to show the court evidence to prove that, that's a complete waste of time. He's right, but I don't know if I do have enough evidence. I concur. Prosecutor Ouchie is right. Ugh! Dang it! I'm so ticked. I want to believe in him. But, like, there's some other way a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace. Please show me. I... Do we have... Any... Like, we don't... We just don't have enough evidence. Record of the dental work. Unless that was it. Like, that is the best we're getting right now. I'm sorry. It's not a lot. Wait, what do I have, like, multiple dots on the... Oh, showing the, uh... Well, we might as well press this as well. Yes! Just to be certain. Because I can think of a couple ways. Without leaving a trace. If someone is shot, or strangled, or stabbed, or thrown from a height, however a person's life is taken, there's always a telltale traces for the body. Quite right, my dear lady. As our police force has thoroughly examined the body of the deceased, there can be no doubt. Thorough, he says. Isn't that right, Inspector Hosanaga? As I've said, I always aim for a flawless investigation. And yet you were stopped by the Bureau. There would be physical traces with all those causes of death, that's true. But maybe there's some other way of killing someone that doesn't leave a mark. If I, heaven forbid, you doubt me, young man, you're going to have to tell everyone exactly you who you think the professor did lose his life, how he did it. You gotta tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. Otherwise, I'm afraid your argument falls flat, don't it? Mm. Oh, no! Perish the thought! Calling such a sweet young lady innocent into question? I'm sure she's innocent. <laughs> oh, my honor. I... Takasuchi Ouchie will cut down any who dare question Asper. Sir, she's she's not taking it. A way of killing someone that leaves no trace. We need some evidence to back us up here. Yeah, I'm all out, bruh. Where, where can we get some evidence? Wait, she has, a, she has another thing? Of course, this country's inferior investigation techniques probably want to pick up on yes. any, anyways. Does that kind of help our case? Inferior? What do you mean? And the land's a great British empire, the most lovely place on earth. The police store everything found at the crime scene for later examination. But in this country, you investigate what's and that's the end of it. Is that so? Well, yes. La Carnival is open for business as usual today. Can't miss work, can you? Uh, exactly, which means that even if the investigation takes a different direction, <laughs> vital evidence may be lost. Huh? What the crow was that? Hosanaga? What? It doesn't even occur to you, naive detectives, to try to preserve the crime scene. Be nice to Hosanaga. What? The? He's dying. I'm trying to be as tactful about this as I can, you understand? Ah, oh, killer blow. The lady is formidable as she is beautiful. <laughs> Amaz amazing. He's actually admitted our police may be flawed. This prosecutor out, she's finally starting to see sense. I'm very much doubt that. Yeah, I think he'll just agree whatever she says. God, this could not be worse. There's something about what Miss Brett just said. There's a moment before when something didn't seem quite right. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. Crap, I gotta think, bro. Help me out, Kazuma. What do you think? Uh, I think it's going horribly, <laughs> terribly even. No matter how much I press her, I'm not turning up any new information. Yeah, a clue would really help out right now. I don't think it's something we already have. As I suspected, she's a tough witness. We need to find a way to break her testimony, or the cross-examination will be over. But that would mean I have to find a way? There must be some clue somewhere to help us find a clink in her armor. I'll try. What, Ryunosuke? There is one thing I notice. Something that's been bothering me. Other than Hosanaga, that, uh, bothering you? You mean about Miss Brett? Actually, no. 
It's Hosanaga. Yeah, 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 okay, perfect. The person standing next to her. The inspector. The detective. No, the inspector. Oh, uh, I guess they're the same thing. He seemed to react a little strange to Miss Brett's last testimony. I was wondering if it might be significant. If it might present an opening, maybe. Yeah, is, is there a way I can, like, make him comment on that? All right. I have an idea. Try pressing her on the last statement one more time. Okay, so this, is, this was a new game mechanic. Gotcha. If you think so, but I don't know, man. Seems kind of fruitless. Ugh. Guess we gotta try. But this time, instead of targeting the woman herself, let's see what he can do about get out of the detective. All right, then. I wonder what he's thinking. I don't know, but I suppose we'll go for it. Once I press Miss Brett in her last statement again. All right. Gotcha. So I was about to say, I mean, other than the poison angle, it's it's kind of tough. All right. Yes. That's the last one. I guess we're gonna skip a little bit of dialogue. Tell me about how inferior and sucky we are and how cringe. Honestly, they're not that far behind in the times. Wait. Could be worse. All right, so he says, wait. What's my prompt for this now? Do I... I think I just have to press this. Yes. There it is again. Detective's reaction is the same as before. Why? Up until now, the detective been in the stand with Miss Brett as her interpreter. Oh my god. You're right. Maybe there's a discrepancy only he noticed. But things are different now. For this testimony, the detective is just listening to what the English woman has to say. This could be a golden opportunity. Uh, what do you mean? I'm really confused. When people are actually testifying, they're usually very careful not to let anything slip. However, when they're listening to someone else speak, you'll find they often let their guard down. You're right. Look at him. He's lost in his own thoughts, staring at his hand like he's an anime protagonist. Dude! Hmm. It's time to pursue the man and his train of thought. Are we gonna play a train mini game? I'd like a local mode right now. Uh, sorry, pursue? I was thinking about trains. I'll explain how to do it now, Ryunosuke. It all has to do with the witness marker. The what? Markers weren't invented. Oh, at the moment we focus on the spread. Who's the person actually making the current statement? You can, oh. Wow, this is a lot of mechanics, wow. This is cool. But by moving the marker, left and right, you can turn your attention. While you're looking for the other witness, you'll be able to pursue them with A. If you can catch the person just the right time, you might uncover some new info. Okay, 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 yes! If you ever notice a strange atmosphere among the people in the stand, take a good look around. Dude, that's awesome. So you're not just focusing on the text, but also their mannerisms. I like it! Ah! Then pursue them with A. Got it. Wait. Exactly. By the way, all British people do not smell. Whoever started that foul rumor. All right, we got this. What do you got to say about this? What is what she's saying in particular? She means even if the investigation takes a different direction, vital evidence may be lost. Is there any vital evidence that, uh... <laughs> he says, excuse me? Uh, what the... What's the meaning of this? <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. Like, is this a running gag? I don't like it. I'm concerned. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to shock you about... Uh, he really was lost in his thoughts deeply, it seems. It looked like you were thinking something just now, Inspector. So, perhaps having heard what the lady next to you had to say? Just a thought. Yeah, out with it. If there's something you'd like to say, please share it with the court. Objection! What What can you object to? What's the meaning of this? You can't, no, no, you can't make up game mechanics on the fly. It's the delightful English woman testifying at the moment. There's nothing, you come on. If you can't find her fault in her testimony, then the cross-examination should be over. Done, done so, finished. Is, is that is that how it works? I haven't, I haven't finished my studies, you know. <laughs> Absolutely not. Gotcha. So he's trying to shark me. Great. The detective is in the stand, which means, which makes him a valid witness. Yeah, he's, he's there. So, yeah. Not to mention the fact that he's intimately involved in the case. He's as good of a, as like a witness as her. Inspector Hosonaga. Uh, yes. Do you have something to add in relation to the statement just made by Miss Brett? Any missing evidence? Huh? Come on, show me the poison. Show me the, show me the, like the sugar cube that was po- Wait, if it was a sugar cube of poison, you literally couldn't conceal it. Well, yes, if you don't mind, I would like to speak. All right, about what? Oh God, 
Oh, Sonaga, be careful. She's deadly. She's already killed once. The lady is right. Our country's police practices are not as modern as they are used in Great Britain. Which is why I, Satoru Hasanaga, always strive to make every investigation I'm involved in flawless. Gotcha. So what do you mean by that? I'll tell you what I mean by that. I won't have evidence lacking on my watch. Okay. If I'm not afraid to take everything I can from the scene of the crime. It's preserving evidence, you see. What, do you have any evidence to submit, huh? I don't care if they call me a crime scene thief. I'm not ashamed of what I've done. <laughs> Karma's a B word though. Crime scene thief, that's a, a, certainly a title I wouldn't want. Well, it looks like the lady's remarks touched a nerve there. I knew it. He did get poisoned. There's something up about that water. Take this for example. Oh, ho, ho. no, she's gonna break the bottle. Stop her. Is that this is the bottle of carbonated water that I took to the victim's table the day in question Yes, it's lost all of its fizz having been opened three days ago now, but it was carbonated I don't care what anyone says. I can't prove it, but I know it to be true Uh, There's some left in the bottle. Yeah, I can see it one day, our police force will be among the best in the world. That time is coming. I guarantee it. Uh, I don't want to get into politics, but... Uh, anyway, moving on. I can't say I condone the witness's actions, but I do understand the sentiment. The court will accept the glass of water as evidence. Got it. Carbonate water in the victim's- it was on the victim's table, okay. Hmm. Miss Brett? Can you confirm this is indeed the bottle which you drank of the day the victim's death? She could just lie. Yes. It was that bottle. What was that about? She seemed to avert her eyes when she was answering. She's lying. Dude. Very well. Counsel, you may resume. Give me that bottle! I'm- I'm searching that. <laughs> I sound like I was going to say I'm stuck. <laughs> the inspector will kindly control his fervor. <clears throat> yes. All right, come on. I don't I don't care about your testimony. Let me let me just look at the clues. Oh god, I be careful. Examine, not present. Let's see this sucker. Anything weird about it? Uh, not on the bottom. All right. <laughs> what are you doing, Norohodo? I'm spinning the bottle! Woo! Oh, Miss Brett and Ouchie got a kiss. Yuck. This label's written in a foreign language that I don't recognize. Do you know what it says, Kazuma? I think it's French. This must be very expensive water. Uh, they got it from France. They could have just carbonated water. He, uh... But what does it say? That's what I was asking. Then go to France and ask. I'm not a dictionary, Naruhodo. You, you could just say that you don't know. But that didn't get us anywhere. You're trolling. Do I have to make the jump in logic that you could poison it? You could. Someone could have poisoned the bottle? Ugh, this stinks. And I raise our glass to the toast. As far as I heard, the post mortem report showed no other pause other than the gunshot. Is there some other way to take a man's life without leaving a trace? Please show me. We're not there yet, man. There's no, there's, n there's no mention of any type of poison. And do I have anything to back it up? It's the only thing that adds up. Why would she? Okay. For whatever reason, this college student wanted to kill. She, she at least knew. Oh, I have to get this glass out of there. Why would she need to take the glass out? If it wasn't, it had nothing to do with the carbonated yes. water. I got you. What is this? The bottle of water? I can't believe it! Wow! I can't- I, it's just embarrassing to admit how long I, like, decided. Like, I was going back and forth, like, no, maybe something- No, maybe something- Anyway. Actually, there is one method of killing a man 
without leaving a trace that comes to mind. Hmm. Obviously, I'm referring to poison. Poison? The weakest Pokemon type? Get real! On the day of his death, we know that Dr. Wilson drank from this bottle of carbonated water. Could it be that there was poison inside? Hmm. Got you. <laughs> Could it be that the professor actually died after taking a sip from this glass? She could have dropped something in there, but it's see-through water. Maybe you didn't notice? Oh, that's going to be a problem. I don't know about, like, poison. <laughs> I don't study poisons, obviously. And on that day, he was sitting at the same table as the professor. Or who was sitting at the same table as the professor and able to slip the poison into his drink? There was only one person who could have possibly done it. Jezal Brett. It was you! Attention! She didn't even retort. You can't hide behind Ouchie forever, Missy. Outrageous! She's just such a thing without uh, without a scrap of evidence. You little rookie imbecile. Have, have you even considered the delicate situation of the country finds itself in now? I forgot that we don't just sign it. In a, I don't. I, how could I forget? You mention it every two seconds. Have you even the vaguest inkling that your rash accusations could jeopardize the entire treaty? Attention. I don't care. I'm not going to the slammer. This is not a political arena. This is a trial to determine one individual's guilt with respect to one crime. Uh. Yeah, it's not honoring to Mr. Wilson. We don't get the real killer, dude. Can't forget about his sake in this. The fact that this woman is British makes no difference. We are here to determine the truth. My man Kazuma! Spin fact! Oh! <laughs> Ahem. If I may, I will silence you forever for this disgraceful attack on the lovely- Huh? Shut up. Dang, she's mad! It is you who should be silent! Uh, of course. Sorry. Sorry, 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 dear lady! Where did that come from? She just snapped. The breakdown's coming. Ooh, here we go. If I'm afraid I may have spoken unfairly before, Whoopsie toopsies. I offer my most humble apologies. I'm sorry, my lady. To what are you referring? She's going to change up her testimony again. I describe your police force as inferior ups. I, oh, I don't know why I did that. But no matter how inferior they may be, you still investigated this particular point thoroughly, I believe. The bottle, I mean, Inspector. And whether it contained a poison or not. Um, of course. You you actually did? No! Crap. Have you forgotten what my guiding principle is already? It's to strive for a flawless investigation every time. You know, is there an this this courtroom's kinda echoey. We're repeating ourselves a lot. I I don't believe it. Naturally, we tested the inside of the bottle and its contents. Uh, and? I'm starting to think you did not find poison. I ordered the test for every toxin that's available in this country at the present time. Only in this country, though. We could find no trace of poison of any description in the bottle of carbonated water, Your Excellency. Okay. What? Are you sure? The tests were meticulously carried out by the chief coroner himself. No! No! Dom, now we're back in square one. Frick! I'm very grateful to all you Japanese fellows. You successfully established my complete innocence in this horrid affair. So can I go now? <laughs> Thank you. But of course, dear lady, the pleasure is all mine. You didn't do anything, you dickhead! I was so sure. Dang it! This can't be right. Everything falls into place if he was poisoned! Is there some way... I can't think of nothing. It doesn't look good. Also, it's water, too. That doesn't help. Thank you, Council. 
I think that cross-examination has clarified everything. As the prosecution has asserted, a shot to the chest from the gun is the only conceivable cause of death. Furthermore... Right, he could have burned his hand when he... <sighs> but no, they said only three sec... Ah, God dang it! This is so confusing! The accused, who by his own admission was holding this weapon, is the only possible culprit. I'm done for. No, again! Ah! No court wishes to apologize for the great inconvenience that has caused you, Miss Brett. Uh, oh no, I'm just glad the matter's resolved. Before proceeding, I must ask the counsel for defense. Do you have any further new evidence to present to the court at this point? I... Kazuma, do you have anything? You're at a leads too? No! I'm sorry, Ryunosuke. I have nothing more. Well, if you'll excuse me now, I must really be leaving the country too. I don't want to be here no more with you filthy Japanese people. But, toodaloo. Haha, -ha, so sad. There's a convention I must- what the- hold it? Huh? Who was that? What the dump? Oh! You? What the dump? Uh... Please wait. Go. That's the, the professor's daughter. <gasps> You're, oh my gosh, she was getting evidence. I forgot. What is the meaning of this? Forgive me for intruding on court proceedings, Your Excellency. Susato Mikotova, judicial assistant to the defense. <gasps> uh, my, my, my knight in shining armor. <laughs> or my samurai in shining. Whatever. Mikotova, okay. She's in my darkest hour, with nowhere left to go, she appeared like a bolt of lightning. And in her hand, she carried a small package wrapped in a furoshiki cloth. I read that a small pickle. I don't I don't think she has a pickle with her. What does she have? Oh, come on! No, I'm playing more. I cannot. I can't. Dude, I would never I can't do that, y'all. I don't know how long this episode is, but dude, I gotta keep going. <gasps> oh my lord! One potty break later, and we're back with more great attorney, Ace... A what? Why am I so stupid? What's this game called again? The Great Ace Attorney Detective? That is not Samurai! What the- Shut up! Okay, courtroom. Same day. Miko Toba, what is up? Please save the day. I'm desperate. Well, I understand you are the judicial assistant to the defense, but why this sudden ingress into my courtroom? Kind of rude. What if I was playing Minecraft? Ah, uh, a judicial assistant and a woman? Hey, ouch, you don't get no ideas, you freaking. We don't know how she is yet. Wait, crap, I don't know how old she is yet. Uh. The rule states that females aren't permitted into this court of law other than to testify. That's after. Yes, I fully understand. I only ask for five minutes of time. I have some vital evidence that I must hand over to the defense. Ha! <laughs> You're too late, little girl. No girls allowed. Bye-bye. Well, Brett can stay, but <laughs> this trial's already been concluded, I'm afraid. <laughs> Victory screech! <laughs> Five minutes. I will not allow a moment more. Oh, come on! But your excellency, we're sexist! <laughs> Someone said bigotous. <laughs> if anything, ouchies. No, liking someone just because they're white is definitely still not cool. I am most grateful. More, more, uh, I guess, aw. Dang, the whole gang's here! I mean, it's still a complete stranger, but dang! It's nice to have three people on, like, you know, the defensive side. <laughs> it's new for me. Um, who exactly are you? I'm sorry, there's no time. Please simply accept this for now. I'll tell you, I take it. A report about something written in English. Okay. It's just uh, Brett's research. The English woman's? After the trial resumed earlier, I heard back to the university. I went to Dr. Wilson's laboratory at the medical facility and borrowed this paper. Y yes, that's right. Miss Brett was studying under the professor, wasn't she? Why would then she kill him? What? So does this research, whatever it is, have something to do with the case? Just maybe. I'm afraid I don't know. 
Dom. Well, hey, I mean, I won't hate you if it doesn't. I haven't been able to listen to the proceeding of the trial myself. Yeah, she might not be able to read English. Oh, of course not. Dumb question, sorry. A special characteristics of a curier of and its effect on human subjects. Interesting. Curi curier? Curibre? Uh, what's that? I've never heard that word before in my life. Yeah, me either. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Time's up, doofus. Be gone. The prosecution demands the intermediate, re the immediate removal of this female trespasser from the courtroom. Could have just said the trespasser. You know, yeah. There was too little time for me to read in detail. But I've summarized what I could on note, just inside the cover. If you think I could be valuable, please cast your eyes on it. Okay, this is wonderful. Thank you. God dang it. Save the day. I guess you can read English. Or oh, I guess Miss Brett was maybe. I don't know. We'll find out soon, I guess. Goodbye then. And good luck. Bye bye. Oh my god, she was a ghost the whole time! <gasps> my word. This courtroom is haunted. Not that I'm surprised, given how many guilty verdicts we give out, but we cannot detain our English guest any longer. Oh, the heck we can! Boy, shut up! I'm <clears throat> sorry, Judge. I just, you know. I ask the prosecution and the defense now one last time. Does either side have any further evidence to present? I presume not. Despite the, uh, given outburst that just occurred. <laughs> the prosecution has made its case convincingly enough. Nothing more to add, Your Excellency. Nobody says rests in the, in the, like, the Ace Attorney franchise. No one says the, the prosecution rests. I guess if that was the case, the trial would be over, but. Ryonosuke, we're out of options here. This really is our very last chance for free reel this time. Final, no more takesy backsies. Yeah, I know. Well, let's give it all we got. Your Excellency, the defense has new evidence. We don't know what it is yet, but we do have it. That I can confirm. That look, the unyielding stare of a true Japanese warrior. Ah, you flatter me. Well, Miss Brett? Yes, Your Excellency. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps you could grace us with your presence a little longer? It's a delightful invitation, but I'm afraid it's not very long until tea time. I'll have to decline. Forgive me, Miss Brett. It seems I wasn't clear. I realize it was phrased as a question, however, it is a demand. I ask you to treat that as an order. I've said it many times before, but the Japanese language makes no sense to me. You all talk like Yoda. It's really confusing. Apologies, my lady dear. I mean, <clears throat> so counsel, what is this new evidence that demands the court? Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me read it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure we got it. Oh, it is just legitimately a synopsis. A poison. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the second word! A poison made from the bark of a certain tree in the jungle of South Africa. Okay, cool place. The hunters of the region have used it since ancient times to incapacitate their prey. So it's not, oh, it's actually not the poison that got him. It was just a poison that would make sure she didn't miss her mark. Instant paralysis, paralysis of the entire body and subsequent death even in minute doses or minute doses. Route of entry. The above mentioned effects occur when the poison enters the body through a wound, such as that inflicted by a blow dart. Could it have possibly also been on the, the No. He wasn't eating though, so how did it Maybe it's not the burn at all. Due to its ability to render the human body paralytic, it's believed that the toxin could have have application as an anesthetic? Dude! However, a solution for this respiratory or er, dude, my mind is there's so many this is like so huge it's not even funny this turns the whole case around however a solution for the respiratory arrest caused as a result of the full body paralysis must be found first or patients would die of suffocation yeah I think we got we, yes. we got some evidence. 
Who would have thought? Miss Jezile Brett, we understand you were studying under Dr. Wilson at the time at Yume University, doing rather strange research. Research by sheer coincidence, perhaps, into a deadly poison? Uh, what? The innocent white woman? But you could have just dropped it at woman. P poison? Where are you going with this, Council? I don't have the fondest idea. A toxin known as Cure, Your Excellency. Even the slightest amount of this deadly poison entering the body leads to instant death. Objection! What? What complete and utter nonsense? How specific for that? What? Cure, cure, cure? You say? What? I've never heard of it. Ever. You wouldn't have done. You wouldn't have. You wouldn't have done. What? What? What do you mean? Was that? Was that a typo? Or am I losing my mind? What? I mean that you wouldn't have heard of cure before. For one very simple reason. It doesn't exist in our country. Yo, it's from si That's why they missed it! Dude! It doesn't exist? Correct. Which means, no matter what tests the police can do for toxins, they've never identified cure -air. So, that's why. Because there is no test available here that can identify the precise... the presence of its highly deadly poison. What?! On top of that, why the dumb was she researching this anyway? Psycho nerd! Alright, that's taking it a, a bit too far. Um, tone it down. Council, does this deadly poison truly exist? Now, according to the report authored by the visiting research student from England, Cure has long been used by the tribespeople of South America. Wait, I say South Africa the first time? Don't. Hey, I still think South America is cool too, but <laughs> I, I do think uh, African culture is very cool. As a poison to lace their arrows, it seems that it's reasonably well known among European doctors and scientists. Yeah, that would make way more sense if it was South American. Also because, you know, the conquistadors, but... To, to lace their arrows? My word! The report states that it is produced from the extract tree that grows deep in the Amazonian jungle. And it was first brought back to Europe at the time of the century by explorers. It claims that animals shot by the arrow laced with cure suffer instant death. Dude. Doesn't matter what about what sum. That about sums it up, Miss Brett. <laughs> you lose! You should have burned that no, you idiot! Trumpery! These assertions are utterly trumpery! To start with. If the victim had been administered some of this so-called deadly poison, he would have squeamish and writhing in pain, and the other diners would have noticed something immediately. Not exactly. That's true. What do you say, Inspector? Well, well, well. Obviously, I would have noticed a disturbance like that. I don't remember anything like that either. I didn't notice the profet- Dude, but he's he's paralyzed! That's why! According to this, however, it's the other way around. What do you mean the other way around? The very fact the victim didn't show any visible signs of distress is evidence that cure was used. Explain. The moment this toxin enters a person's system, it causes instant paralysis. In other words, afflicted victims lose all strength and are completely unable to move. Even if they were in total agony, there'd be no visible signs of pain at all. How terrible. Obviously, if a man lost all strength in his muscles, he'd collapse on the floor. But with a chair under him for support, Dr. Wilson did the effects could go largely unnoticed. You're right. And that's why his hand was like, oh my god. But I don't follow, Kazuma. That's just paralysis. I thought the poison caused instant death. Isn't it both? Hmm. The full explanation is extremely unpleasant. The poison causes immediate paralysis, as I've said, leaving the victim unable to move. But after a short time, the paralysis is so severe, it causes the muscles that control respiratory to fit. Oh yeah, so he legitimately can't breathe. That's awful. 
In other words, the actual cause of death is suffocation. Which is way harder to find in an autopsy. And all the while the victim is conscious. And is conscious and aware? That's awful! Oh my god! Just unable to move. Dude, I don't... Okay, obviously, like... There might be something in the real world similar. To Cure Rare. I don't know if it's the exact same name, but man. That is, like, almost too scary to think about. You're just dying slowly and there's nothing you can... Oh, God! That's hideous! Oh, God! So the observer would look almost like the victim was slipping peacefully into an endless sleep. But for the victim himself, his final moments would be a living hell. That is the true nature of this deadly cure air poison. We got him. It's over. How can you get out of that? There's just no way. And you're suggesting that this bottle, Council, actually contains this terrifying poison? Na maybe, maybe not. This... This all very convenient, isn't it? Yeah, I could s see you think that. A hitherto unknown poison for which there is no means of testing. What a happy tale for the defense. Ahem, if I may. All these facts you think you're so clever, you must have tossed them. Oh, again. It is you who must be taught, it seems. Of course. Punish me, lady! <laughs> Gross. Anywho. <laughs> so this is how you Japanese behave, is it? Asking for weapons in the knot? No! It's just not, you know, he's not setting a good example. That's all. You steal another's honest hard work and then announce the results as if you discovered them. So foul. I'm appalled. What a loathsome act. Well, Miss Brett, the feeling is mutual. You smell. Seriously, bathe! Once in a while! Whatever do you mean? On top of that, capitalizing on the unfortunate circumstances of an innocent man to frame him for a heinous crime? That really is a loathsome act. Wouldn't you agree? Attention! Yeah. You were you really trying to like test your research that badly? Enough of this! I, for one, refuse to accept it! The idea some poison that doesn't exist in the Great Empire of Japan is breaking the rules! <laughs> What's so funny? The commentators made no jokes this entire episode! Oh, I know that. Oh, excuse me, Your Excellency. Uh, yes, Miss Brett? May I borrow that bottle for a moment? Um, well, I don't see why not. But don't give me any of it. Ugh. What the? No! She's actually gonna test it? What the dump? Hosanaga! Yo, dog, you better be careful. Hey, I, I, I admire the uh, actual, like, that looks very realistic. Don't get too big for your boots. You. Insignificant little island boys. I'm sorry, what? I'm pretty sure our island is bigger! To an Englishwoman such as myself, this whole affair is a farcical comedy. You little police games and these foolish courtroom antics. It's laughable, really. No. It's, it's serious to me. I'm getting quite bored of it all now. It's time for the game to end. Well, toodaloo. Cheers! Wait. Is she... Huh? Is she... What? Wait, are, are you... Are, what are you doing? Is she killing... No way. Hmm. No sparkle left at all. How appropriate for this shabby affair. Is she gonna drop dead? I mean, how do we even know? What the crud is about to happen? <laughs>